Uh, the Supreme Court uh, reserves its order on Sena versus Sena war. This is a breaking news coming in, viewers. Uh, during today's hearing, the Supreme Court orally observed it cannot uh, reinstate Uddhav Camp as the then CMS Chief Minister did not even take the trust vote. My colleague Harish is joining us on the phone line to give us more details. Harish, the Supreme Court now reserves its order on Sena versus Sena war and during today's hearing, the SC orally has obse observed that it cannot reinstate Uddhav Camp as the then Chief Minister did not take the trust vote. So give us the details as to what you see from here. Yes, that's right. A very significant oral remarks coming in from the uh, five-judge uh, Supreme Court Constitution bench just before it uh, reserved the judgment uh, in this matter after a hearing for nine days uh, marathon hearing. Uh, and uh, coming to a question, as uh, Senior Advocate Abhishek Singhvi uh, sought to say that Supreme Court must reinstate uh, Uddhav government if it concluded that governor's order for trust vote on June 30 was not a valid exercise of power, the Supreme Court asked, how can we reinstate State Chief Minister who did not even face a trust vote, uh, questioning Uddhav's decision to quit quit ahead of the trust vote. The Supreme Court bench said, uh, your case would have been stronger if you had faced, lost, and then come to the court. Chief Justice Deva Chandrachu told Davishek Mani Singhvi, it would have been logical thing to do if you had faced the trust vote. You chose not to face a trust vote as you knew you did not have the numbers. Uh, Chief Justice Chandrachu remarked that decision that Uddhav made on June 29 uh, ruled out ascertaining how his rival faction led by Shinde would have acted inside the house and whether they would have indeed violated the whip um, uh, which was considered an offence by the Uddhav camp. Uddhav Thakur's decision to resign as chief minister even before the trust board could take place uh, precluded a clear-cut conclusion on how the Shinde faction would have impacted the Mahavikas Agadi government on the floor of the house, the bench said, adding uh, it could have been uh, it, it could be an imped impediment in the Uddhav path when he impelled the court to put the uh, uh, turn the clock back by reinstating him as PM. Uh, remember, the Chief Justice told Singhvi yesterday the bench gave. Uh, in fact, uh, the flip side is if you had faced the trust vote and lost, it would have been clear how these 39 people affected the proceeding. Voting pattern would then determine if these 39 affected the trust vote. Uh, so, in fact, uh, uh, in, in yesterday, the uh, remember the court had given a new twist to the entire case by expressing serious concern over was the active role played by governor in precipitating the fall of the uh, Uddhav Thakre-led MBA government. Uh, the court had said the revolt was an internal matter of the Shiv Sena and there was nothing to suggest that Sena as a political party had withdrawn support to the Mahavika Sagadi. So yesterday, uh, the bench had uh, questioned the governor's uh, partisan role and uh, and the haste at which uh, he ordered a trust vote. Uh, but today, uh, in fact, uh, so the couple Sibal and Abhishek Singhvi who had appeared for the Uddhav camp uh, latched on to the criticism of the governor by the uh, by the Supreme Court. But uh, today, but uh, just before the, it reserved orders, uh, the uh, the uh, Supreme Court uh, orally remarked that uh, how can we reinstate uh, a chief minister who even who could know who, didn't, who resigned before the trust vote, and uh, his position would have been better in the court if he had faced the trust vote, lost, and then come to the court and pointed out the value, pointed out to the pointed out the violation of whip by the 39 MLAs uh, who who were with uh, the Shinde camp. Back to you. Right, Harish, thank you for bringing us those key details on that story.